What is your biggest hurdle when it comes to running your real estate photography business? For me and for most of us, it's the seasonality of really busy summers and pretty slow winters. It's not so seasonal that you have no business in the winter, at least here in Florida, but it is like 50% of what we do in the summertime. And that can be a scary place to be where you have employees to pay and you're still trying to grow, but revenue just isn't quite there like it is in the summertime. We made a couple changes over the last year that have significantly helped us do that. Our highs are are a little bit higher, but our lows are not as low. So I want to go over those with you guys and hopefully help you out with your business. And maybe you can implement some of these things as well. About a year ago, we saw a pretty obvious gap in the market where nobody in our industry was really specifically targeting these people and helping them out with social media. We already had it totally down for their listings, you know, photos, videos, virtual tours, etc. But we started to film a little bit more marketing videos, talking head videos, educational content. And eventually that became like a pretty significant part of the business where we were going to people regularly and shooting content for them and it was clear that this was a really big need in the community sure there are several different companies out there videographers social media companies that offer these services to help people you know be consistent on social media but for us we didn't see anybody specifically targeting the real estate industry and helping them create content edit content and do it on a monthly basis so what we decided to do is get a studio space even though i don't think that you should necessarily get a studio space right off the bat we found it to be a huge differentiator for us in the market and there's been a couple different reasons why obviously it's cool to have your own space but what's even better about that is we have everything pre set up ready to go we can have our clients come in we film by hour-long blocks and we have several different sets ready to go you flip on the lights you put a camera there and you can move around into multiple different locations and get a lot out of it in one hour and this has been really a big game changer for us whereas if we were to go do a community tour sure you can make Make one video at a community or if you're to go to one of your brokerages offices you can do something there but it's likely only going to be in one little area that you set up this studio space has allowed us to have multiple different sets so that anybody can come in and be able to create a variety of content all at once now that I gave you a brief overview of what our memberships are and how we do them I want to go over a few different points about how it benefits you and your clients the first big point is that you are doing a service with them not just a service for them like you're doing at a listing somebody told me a while ago that once you start laughing and joking with your clients is when you know that you've built a lifelong relationship with them. Sure, you can go to a listing and have a little bit of banter back and forth, but it's nowhere near the same as sitting down with a client for a full hour, going through everything with them and working directly with them. It's a whole different ballgame of building a relationship. Number two is a pretty obvious one, but it is the sustainability of the recurring revenue. It's a really big deal to know how much money is going to be coming in a month at a minimum, and this will help you scale even during the slower months. And for this business and what we do, I try to grow a team of people where we are all committed to it. And it's not just 1099 contractors that are taking photos and they go home and that's it. I pay everybody on a W-2, like their salary, and I want to grow a team. And to do that is really difficult when you're shooting just everything project by project. And the, you know, the winter months are slower and for us, this really helps to have that monthly income where I know, okay, at a minimum, I can pay for salaries and everybody can have a job and a career that they love and we can continue to scale from there. It's really honestly been extremely important and I can't even imagine going back from this point. Number three is the actual value to the client. A big part of the value that the memberships provide is not just the actual videos that we create. It's a few different things. So we have accountability where the people that are paying for it, our clients are accountable to be making videos videos every month because they're paying for it. So it's a different level of commitment if they are deciding, hey, I'm going to pay this dollar amount every month. I better make some videos for it rather than they just go pay for, you know, 10 reels or whatever it may be. The other two things are consistency and time. The consistency, I feel like is pretty obvious. Like you're going to be consistent if you're paying a monthly membership. But the time aspect is not quite as obvious. When you are trying to make reels and stories and everything else all by yourself, it takes so much effort and so much time to be doing that every single week. You need to commit to it and the the difference is when you hire us to do it, you know that, hey, I'm only coming in for two hours a month or four hours a month, whatever it may be. And that amount of time is going to set me up for the entire month of content. Whereas if you're not doing that, if you're not on a membership, you're probably just going to be trying to figure out a time to do it here and there. You're going to be very inconsistent with it. And sure, that's the cheaper option doing it yourself. But is it the better option? And that's what we go over with our clients. If you want to be accountable you want to be consistent and you want to save your time and know 
know that it's going to get done, then this membership makes sense for them. The last point is that we are much more of a partner than we are a vendor. We don't just go out and take a pretty photo. What we do is pay attention to the market. The market is super important to know what's going on. We need to know stats. We need to know trends. We need to know the big things that you should be talking about as an agent or lender or whoever. And so this has really been a key factor in our clients trusting us as their partner to lead them in the right way and help them build their personal brand. I really think that if you're considering doing retainers and monthly members that you need to mentally make the switch of going from vendor to a partner. You want to be their point of leverage and their kind of like leg up against the competition. It's a really important part of this. And if you're just going through the motions and you're a vendor and you're not trying to communicate and build customer service, it's really not going to work. This is a very much customer service centric business and you need to be on their side and constantly be researching how you can benefit them and their brand. To wrap up this video, I just want to say that there is such a differentiator with what we are doing and what the average photographer is doing. There's a lot of value in it out there still to just be a photographer or a videographer. I think that's totally fine if that's the business that you want to build. But if you're trying to separate yourself from the competition and you're trying to do something a little different and pretty fun at the same time, I think that this is a really good option. Whether you actually choose to do a studio space like we did, or you just choose to do it to where it's uh, you know a monthly retainer of some kind and you can be providing a different value to your clients, I think both are good options. If you start with doing one and you're just doing it without the studio, in my opinion, I can't imagine not having the studio at this point. It's funny. I mean, it's not how I started. Just started with a camera and going out to a couple listings but now that the business has evolved and we've hired people and we have a really good team it feels like this is a crucial part of it and in this market you want to be able to set yourself apart in different ways I don't really think there's a better way to do it other than this. I'm going to be making a lot more content about the studio, about the memberships. Of course, I'll still be doing the real estate photography content as well, but I want to be making more content about this specifically because I feel like I've had a lot of questions about it. And I think that this is something that people aren't doing yet. A few people have picked up on it. Sure. But I think we're kind of pioneers in this industry. Um, and honestly, I really would like to talk about it at the Las Vegas real estate photography conference. There's a chance that I get to speak there this year and I'll put the link down below. If you guys want to nominate me, that'd be amazing. This is the topic that I would love to be discussing at the conference, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.